Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 3 of Sim Shenanigans and we picked up with our gorgeous Klepto Queens and Christina just asked Kent out on a date because she is lonely and she's still feeling betrayed from Chuck so she's just wanting to get herself you know a bit entertained by a nice man and he says he's at work and doesn't know when he's done so generally that means he either is a fireman or he possibly works at the park which neither of them are pretty good because you have to unfortunately go and see them so if he is a fireman if he is a fireman I'm going to stalk him <laughs> she would stalk him so where is the fire station and we'll get her to head over there what's this the blinder clip center right, so I think the fire center is over the other side of town Ann Arbor so let's go and we'll take with us Whitney because Whitney is also in need of some attention because her social is super down and she has a social butterfly so it would be good if she could you know find her man now we're going to get Melissa on track because right now Melissa isn't what is happening I hate high rises so much like seriously hate them Anyway, so we're going to get her to invite over Mr. Donnell because, right, oh my goodness, she keeps getting stuck, this woman. In last, master controller. Oh, how do we do this again? How do we do this again? Is it advanced? Reset sim. Yep. Get her, get her away from me. <laughs> and we'll get her to ask him to come over. He's too busy, invite him back in three hours. Okay, so that gives you enough time to repair the sink. Because let's face it, we don't want our, our first conquest to come over and the, the sink is a riot. And once you've done that, you can mop up the puddle. And you may as well stay in your underwear, Melissa, because let's face it, that's what you'll be getting into. So hopefully there's some hunky men at the fire station. And we will have to visit our pregnant our, our pregnant people today. So if you remember in the last part, Raina is pregnant, as is Kate. And neither of them was my choice. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just one of these things that story progression is going to kick us in the butt and make us, you know, have situations that we don't actually choose. Oh, isn't Ann Arbor so pretty? Great, come on girls, hurry up in your, your little crappy, your little crappy car and let's see if there's any hunky men at this fire station. I mean, it's a fire station, so you would hope, you would hope. But knowing my luck, there probably won't be any. I just want to know what he works at. I mean, here we go. We're at the same situation <laughs> as what we were um, before with Raina to try and find out what profession her man had. Okay. So there's really nothing. There's no men here. There is no men here. So what else could he possibly work as? I mean... I don't know. I guess you could spend some time there, girls. I guess there's no harm in that. A dispute erupted between Gail Artis and Marlon Fairchild in front of the store and both sides were left unamused. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, do you know what? While you're there, why don't you go and check your online dating? Check your messages because I am sure a lovely girl like you will have them. And why? No, no, no. My goodness, she certainly does. Okay, so, Patrick. We're just going to accept all these because I don't really care. <gasps> Adam! I'm feeling really positive vibes from you. We should get together. No. Adam, are you rogue? Except Bryce as well. Right, no. No. I know it kind of just puts them automatically on here, but still, it's pretty, pretty annoying. And why don't you do exactly the same, my sweetheart? You go and check your messages as well. I'm going to see what Melissa's doing. So is that... I don't think it's been three hours yet. I really don't. But who else could she try? Is this... Ke no, it's Carter. So why don't you invite him over? And he'll see if he says, I need to go and assign these men jobs off camera so that they've got jobs that we can deal with. And she's got the same, so we'll just get her to accept, not Bryce. Accept, 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 accept. Oh, Kent. Oh, no, 
count? Does it really count? <laughs> Is Christina going to be betrayed again? Surely not. <clears throat> and... Is that Josiah? Yeah, we'll accept you too. We are not fussy. No, we are not. Right, okay. Let's have a look here then. Melissa, you phoned that dude right there. And I think these girls are just going to hang around the fire station. <laughs> like desperados waiting on the hungry fireman to come back. I'm at work right now and I don't know when I'll be done. Seriously. Right, okay. I will be right back. Alrighty, so I've reset the guys' careers and given them careers that hopefully will mean that we will be able to contact them because this is just ridiculous. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. So you are super hungry, so why don't you, 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 go and visit Misha's Bar and Girl with Christina. Why don't you go and get something to eat? Melissa is at the park. And she is going to invite over. She's going to invite over Mr. Danell. I don't know why she's in the park in her evening wear, but yeah. <laughs> she obviously feels that that's a good one. And she's just achieved her personal best. 55 yards. Okay, so Danelle is coming over. Excellent. Because we need to get on with our heartbreaker wish for sure. And how are our girls getting on? Are they in Misha's Bar and Grill yet? They are just heading in there just now. Alrighty, so what to do? Could not find a nearby It's Business Time Industrial Oven with a food selection. Um. Okay then, so let's hire a chef. <laughs> and let's set ours for the lot. Set... Menu. I'm just going to pick a whole bunch of stuff here. Sorry about this, guys. I know I'm kind of all over the freaking place, but, you know, we'll get there. Alright, so... There is definitely a chef, so... There we go. So why don't you get some bully booze? And Christina's going to go and get some as well. Excellent! Alright, so are you waiting on Mr. Donnell? He better not be standing you up. What are you doing in there? Don't talk to baby's breath. Get out there. Go here. Oh, and it's time she can actually steal something. Right, okay, so is there anything that's worth stealing? Oh my goodness, Kate! Romances in the air for Carter Galloway and Kate Naylor as they were seen parading their newfound affections all over town. Kate. Kate, Kate, Kate. <laughs> you, 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 you. I have no words. I have no words. Right, girlie, come and swipe something. Come and swipe something. I have no words for you, Kate. I have no words. Part of me is a little bit proud. I'm not even, I'm not even going to lie that I am a little bit. What did you just steal? Did you steal a freaking plant? Oh no, she stole a light. <laughs> Excellent. There's not really much we can steal around here, but we want to try and steal as much as we can. Right, Danielle, you better move your butt and get over here. You've got one more chance to get your butt over or we'll have words. Okay, what's she going to take? What is she going to take? Is she going to take this big one here? That's what she said. <laughs> Excellent, she is. Why don't you come over here and see if you can steal one of these golf things? Okay, so we've got two huge lamps that we don't know. You're not going in there. You're waiting. There he is. At freaking last. At last. Right, okay, friendly. Um, Admire him. Friendly. Ask if it's day. Romantic. Amorous hug him. Romantic flirt with him. Romantic compliment his appearance. Yes. Go ahead and do that for me. That would be great. Lenny James has already started a group. Yes, I know she has, but I never asked that he come into this group. Right, come on over. So they're friends, so let's have them all flirt delicious and stuff like that. Romantic. Let's mm. Ask if single, he probably is not. 
but we'll ask him if he is. Um, or we can woohoo here. Excellent. Certainly won't be a risky woohoo. I can tell you that. I can tell you that for now. Right, why don't you come here, sweetheart? So go here. And then we can try and invite someone over for you too. Although our social is well good now. Ask if he's single. Well, look at the state of that outfit. I mean, seriously. <laughs> His outfit is terrible. Okay, he's single. Good. Alright, so let's do Confess Attraction. We will do a first kiss. He's single. Fabulous. Why don't you go here with the group? She's like totally out of his league. <laughs> it's actually so funny. I know that sounds terrible, but look, she actually is. Right, so romantic. Let's uh, dip kiss him. <laughs> And let's do a little bit of a... Let's woohoo. Why not? Don't know where they're going to woohoo. Probably in here. <laughs> Come on then. Are you going to woohoo? I don't think there is anywhere to woohoo here. Okay then, so just romantic and... Let's propose going steady. No. Has entered into an exclusive relationship with Donald Holly. Oh, isn't that nice? So romantic as crap that we can't woohoo here. Let's see, can we woohoo in here? Is there a woohoo location? No. No woohoo. Well what we can do is we can invite him home, hopefully. Eh, uh, friendly. Fret over commitment. <laughs> She's like that, I don't want to be committed to you. She's freaking out, okay. So, let's, let's break up with them. Let's break up. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't, she doesn't like long term. Oh, don't be too harsh. Don't be too harsh. <laughs> It was a tough time, but she's broke up with him. Okay, excellent. So we have one out of the ten, and the girls are there to the girls are there to talk about it. <laughs> if they're there, Christina Ferreira. Yep, yeah, that's totally fine. Totally fine. All right, and they're going to go into the arbitorium. Arbitorium. So I'm just going to head over and see how our other family are doing. Alrighty, so we picked up with Kate and Kate is now home by the looks of things. Yep, she is the Kate. Kate, so she's not shown as yet. So let's have a wee look at this. <laughs> Carter's a romantic interest. So is Danielle and so is Caesar Nijo. I mean, really girl, I mean, you really are. You really are a player. <laughs> You've been learning. You have been learning from our Chuck. And where is our Chuck? And Chuck is a romantic interest with Shanna McQueen. And he wants to be a master romancer and woohoo in five different places with five different sims. Yes, he does indeed. So her social is a bit down and she is pregnant. I can't believe she's pregnant and got three love interests. <laughs> and one of them being Carter. Alrighty, so I'm sure she's, um, I don't really know how she'd be feeling. I mean, she is, you know, rocking the, the town, if you like. And where is the cat? How is the cat doing? The cat is just snoozing away. So once Chuck comes over, I'm going to get Chuck to try and see if he can get a, an evening booty call with our, our Shanna here and see if she will come over. Who knows? She might be like that. Don't, oh, no, she's like that. Yep, yep, definitely. And let's talk to our cat. Love is blossoming between Felix Beck and Shanna McQueen. Shanna, 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 Shanna. Really? You're supposed to be with our Blake. Our Blake. Blake. Chuck. Chuck, Chuck, Chuck. 
She wants to be a renaissance sim, so she can work on her skills a little bit, I guess. So we'll get her to go and continue that painting. And Chuck's going to grab himself something to eat and hopefully we can get a woohoo location down with Shanna if she, if she moves her buttocks over here. It is a bit late right enough, but we'll see. We shall see. We'll see if she manages to come over. And that is like the total favourite sleeping spot. <laughs> so cute. You'd think that they would go on the couch or something because that would be like far more interesting. And who's this? Patrick. Well, to be fair, I didn't really invite Patrick. What are you doing? Seriously? <laughs> you still come into someone's house, Patrick, you absolute freak. Buzzing. Who in the frick are you? Like, come down here. I suppose give him a friendly introduction before kicking him out. Weird. Oh, and Shanna's actually quite a pretty sim. And she is actually genuinely an AA. An AA? <laughs> an Alcoholics Anonymous sim. An EA sim. So, that's quite interesting. And she's already gone up to the bedroom. She's like that one. I know where I want to go. And she's coming back down again. So make up your mind. Make up your mind. Romantic. Do you want to stay over, Shanna? Do you? Oh, what's the problem? What are you all screaming at? Oh, it's a broken, a broken thing. Shanna, you are ridiculous. Okay, continue cooking that before you burn the house down. Excellent. And she's having a sleepover. She's having more than a sleepover. <laughs> let's be honest. She's having more than a sleepover. All right, so let's be friendly and announce pregnancy to this completely random stranger. And <laughs> I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and heat the moment kiss him because let's face it, she kisses everyone. And Chuck's feeling a bit ill. <laughs> well, that will teach you. So get out my house then. That'll teach you to just come into my house and think that you can do what you like. Why don't we just send send a Wahootie text to Caesar and see if he's up for it. I doubt it, but we'll see if he's up for it. Don't you think it's too late? Well, that's the whole point of a Wahootie text, is it not? Alright, so friendly... Tell friend how cool I am though. Romantic. Take romantic photo together. Hopefully she stops reading the freaking book. That's it. Oh, Adam Mallon and Ashley Mallon have been seen together arm in arm. How cute. How cute. Let's get your romantic photo. Excellent. Heat the moment kiss. We'll need to try and make notes of where he woohoos so we know. So we know. And it's supposed to be five different places with five different sims. And romantic letters. Uh... You know what? Why don't you try for a baby? <laughs> Why don't you do that? On you go, Chuck. She's cheating on you, so let's send her back to her, her man with a, a bun in the oven. Let's do that. Why not? <laughs> She's daring to go behind your back. Doesn't that look like Eric Northman from, well, hmm, maybe not up close, but from a distance it could look like Eric Northman from, uh, what do you call it? True Blood. Yes, that's correct, Laura. Alright, oh, Chuck, you show her how it's done. That other guy's got nothing on you. You show her how it's done. <laughs> There we go. Is he going to impregnate her, I wonder? Is he? Ah! <laughs> he has. Oh, well, Shanna. Oh, well. Shouldn't have been cheating then, should you? Nope, you should not. I'll get Chuck to use the bow. Oh, well, he's going to go to sleep, actually. He just woohooed with a celebrity, Shanna McQueen. Alright guys, I'm going to pick up when they wake up.
Alrighty, we've picked up with the Malins and we're going to get our lovely Nate here to join the book club. And he's basically grasped the basics of writing, <laughs> is what I'm saying. Um, what to do in fact, once you've joined book club, come and see what he's crying about. Absolutely. There's absolutely nothing wrong with you, Daniel, sweetheart. Come on, you just want to, you know, picked up. One into that. And what are you guys doing? Right. Shanna, 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 you are as bad as Kate. Affections appear to be developing between local Sims Winston Mason and Shanna McQueen. Oh, and what are you two up to? And it's Miss Raina. Hello, Miss Raina. And Ashley's invited her over because she is obviously the carer of her son. So she's invited her over, you know, just to have a bit of a girlfriend because she doesn't have a girlfriend, you know. So she's going to confess her attraction for Adam and she is going to tell her a funny story. So we can build up the relationship and have, you know, a girlfriend if you like. And Adam, what can you do? Can you do me a huge favour and teach him to talk? And Rena, Rena is ready to pop. <laughs> Rena is ready to pop. My goodness, she is. She may even pop in this episode. I don't know. I am not sure. She's so cute pregnant. She really is. And he's going to teach our Daniel how to do that. How are you, Taylor? Taylor, you are so cute. You're going to scratch at the front door. Now, please don't scratch at the front door. Just, just go and just go and do something. <laughs> and what are you doing? You're cooking. Excellent. So we'll just build up the friendship between these pairs. So we'll enthuse about comic books. Tell a bit of a joke. Uh -huh. Ask about her career. Well, we already know what her career is, but we'll ask about it. Let's feel our tummy. And dispel the rumours about us. I don't even know what rumours that is going about, but... Oh, from repossession. That's right. That's right. Oh, let's have a bit of celebrity gossip, because you can't really be... Oh, so cute. And let's listen to our tummy. Uh, we will... <laughs> let's gossip about Adam, so... Let's have a, a chat about him. Because let's face it, every girl talks to their girlfriends about their man, don't they? Whether it's good or bad, we all talk about them. So they seem to be getting on really well, actually, which is nice. Because I think that she'll need a friend, Raina. <laughs> Let's make a silly face. <laughs> and I think what I would like to do is if we can try and interview her for our job. That would be good. And what can you do, mister? So you want to throw a birthday party. Is it today that you age up? No, we've still got a day. Yeah, we've still got a day before that they age up. So our tailor social's down. So why don't you come and talk to Taylor and feed him a little treat. Excellent. So if Ashley interviews her, that means that we can... What are you doing? Then we can hopefully get on oh, their friends now. Excellent. Good to know. Good to know. Tell her a bit of a joke. Do you have any romance, Nate? It would be good if you had a bit of a, a, bit of a romance. That would be nice. Oh, I told you, you're so cute. So cute. Excellent. So they're getting to know each other quite well. And she's learning lots about her, so that's what I like to see. How are our twins doing? I would quite like to just, you know, age them up. But I'm probably just going to let Sorry Progression do its thing, to be honest. With them. Oh, Raina, you poor thing. Your pregnancy outfit's a disaster. <laughs> well, I mean, the top's not too bad, but the, the jogging trousers kind of has to go. And Ashley, why are you still in your pregnancy clothes? Come to think of it. Change your outfit, please, into your everyday. 
There you go. This is not that much different, but why don't you do that? And oh my goodness, no! <laughs> right in front of Ashley's face, right? Ashley, you you need to go and I don't know, go to the toilet or just get away from this scandal that's about to happen. Oh my goodness. Right, reject the madam. Come on. Good. Rena, I don't know what you're thinking. All those pregnancy hormones are just obviously. <laughs> they're just obviously, um, you know, getting to your head and whatnot. Oh my goodness, Rena, stop it! Rena, please stop it. You're her friend. Stop doing that. <laughs> Stop doing that, that is ridiculous. You can go and use the toilet. And she's got to go. Okay, someone in this group has unresolved issues. Raina, honey, it's, it's kind of you. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> it is kind of you. And Raina is now home. So, yeah, so that was a bit of an awkward situation. I don't really know what she was thinking. I think the pregnancy hormones have absolutely taken over her brain. <laughs> she had a baby brain, I think. And uh, I think she's going to give birth, you guys, in this episode because she is seriously, seriously heavily pregnant. So these are the little kids that she's kind of looking after just now. Daniel and Bambi, here it is. I don't really care about Marlon's logic skill. Marlon can just get 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 so what does she need so she needs to handle emergencies general daycare and friendship with the kids so charisma would be quite good for that so why don't you go where is our man anyway why don't we invite him over let's see what our man's doing oh my goodness love is blossoming between chuck and sandy the new couple were out on the town recently arm in arm enjoying each other's company well, isn't that nice? So I think it would be quite nice if we maybe moved Bryce in. You know, because ultimately he is our baby daddy. So it would maybe be quite good if we did move him in. Um, I think that would be quite nice because he is the baby's daddy. She hasn't really had any affections for anyone else. Unlike the rest of them who are at it, you know, at it like rabbits and, you know, <laughs> it's, let's face it, it's a scandalous town. They, they're they all into each other and doing whatever <laughs> whatever they want. So, yeah. So, who's she doing? She's chatting with someone. Who's she chatting with? And Bryce should hopefully be over soon and we can. And here he is. Bryce, let us greet him. Ignore who it is in the computer. And he looks a bit better. He looks a bit cuter. Hello, baby daddy. Don't heat at the moment, kiss him. They are on a date. How cute. It's romantic. And let us ask his sign. I'm gonna hug him. I think Rena will probably be feeling a bit guilty for her her indiscretion earlier. <laughs> Let's take a romantic photo together. Why is it not asking or allowing me to ask him to move in? Do you want to stay over? A dispute has erupted between Troy and Gretchen. Let's get a cute picture. There we go. Oh, she is, like, ready to burst, seriously. So, he the moment kiss him. Thanks for having me over. So, I wonder, I mean, I'm sure he knows that she's pregnant. I mean, I'm sure that she's... Okay. So, if you don't know that she's pregnant, or you think that she's just got fat in a few days, <laughs> then I'm worried about you. But we'll announce the pregnancy anyway. Because you guys are actually really cute together. I'm not even... Gonna lie. So what's he gonna say? I'm pregnant. Oh, he looks quite happy with that. He likes to be not too bad with that. Let's hold his hands. Seriously. Let's. Uh, what? I do not want to hold my hand. Are you being a douche? Mm. 
Right, thank you. If you can dish. <laughs> She's carrying your baby. Don't be an idiot. Flirtatious joke. A romantic, amorous hug. What is your problem, Bryce? Are you like unflirty or something? Oh my goodness, I'm actually getting really annoyed at this. Will you answer your phone? Answer phone. <laughs> oh, you're being all flirty now, but you're. What is up with you, Bryce, really? Ashley Mallon, yes, she would like to talk because he's annoying the life out of me, actually. I thought you were a good guy, Bryce. Hmm. This isn't really going as I had hoped. No, it's not. <laughs> I had kind of hoped that he would be super duper romantic, but then maybe he's just shocked. I mean, maybe he's just shocked. He maybe wasn't expecting her to, you know, pop a baby out within a few days of the relationship. So let us... Why don't... What are you doing here? So <laughs> she's going to berate his ignorance. She's so annoyed. She's like, how dare you? Now let's have a yogurt. Seriously, you're going to have this baby today. I mean, you are at the baby stage, aren't you? She wants to talk to Taylor, Malin. Is that the dog? <laughs> Welcome to adulthood. So Taylor is now an adult dog. That is cute. Oh, Whitney, James and Danielle Holly have started dating. <laughs> So, Christina, no, sorry, Melissa dated him and dumped him, and now Whitney and him have started dating. So, that is interesting. That is very interesting indeed. So, let's go and speak to him a little bit more and see what's the problem. Bricey boy, what is your problem? Seriously? Mm -hmm. oh. Romantic. Give him some romantic flowers. And flirt with him. Romantic. Let's woohoo. Let's see if a good old woohoo can put him in the mood to be a nice guy. <laughs> I don't care about Gretchen and Troy. They can do what they like. And they're going to woohoo in the shower. Woohoo in the shower. Why are you not woohooing in the shower? Okay, they're going to go to sleep until fully rested. Alright, fair enough. It's actually quite a cute little apartment she's got going on down here. Right, so I'm going to cut out and hopefully cut back in when she's having her a baby. Oh, Marilyn is the father of a new baby girl. Gail just gave birth to a baby girl named Tonya. Tonya. A random name, but... Sorry if anyone's called Tonya. Alright, so I'm going to cut out and cut back in, guys, when she's having the baba. Alright, guys, so the baby is coming. The baby is coming. And we're going to get her to go to the hospital because she's a first-time mother. And Gretchen and Troy are having a baby now as well. <laughs> so let's get to the hospital. Let's get to the hospital. Let's get to the hospital. And looks like it's time to leave. Oh, you're not even coming with us. How nice. How nice of you. Now, I only got one suggestion for names uh, in the last episode. I, know I forgot to ask you for names, guys. I'm sorry. But Megan Key did give me a couple of suggestions. So I'm going to go and see. Well, not go and see. I do know what they are. So that's what we're going to do. Do leave your name suggestions. And it's a baby Boy, pregnancy has its ups and downs, but Rena managed to make the best of it. The baby was born with a genius and friendly, and what would like so she recommended Jacob for a boy. So, and is it just the one? It's just the one. So Bryce is now the father of a baby boy. Rena just gave birth to Jacob. And she's bringing him home in the stroller. How cute is that? And she wants to get married. Sweetheart, I know. But he's not even there. He's a scumbag. He's not even at the house. Like, seriously. He's not even at the house. And she starts work in seven days in one hour. Seriously. So she's off for a full week. Oh, well. Okay. Alright, so once we get back, I'm just going to get a crib set up for her. And then we will end this part. Because I feel like I've been cording 
for Forever Niddy. Now, let me know down below, guys, if you would like... If you would like to have more time focusing on each family, so like if you want one episode dedicated to each family, then I can do that. It does mean there'll just be a lot of changes in between times or whether you like this kind of switching back and forth that we've been doing. So change, yeah, so feed, excellent. So we'll get a crib, get a crib and we'll do it. Can we fit one down here? We can, I think. I think we can, so we'll go for a nice wooden, a nice wooden crab, I think. Yeah. Excellent. Alrighty, so we'll just leave it there. So let me know, guys, what you're thinking, how you're feeling. And we ended the last, <laughs> the last episode with babies. And we're ending this one with babies too, which is a bit strange. But I shall talk to you in my very next part, guys, and have a fantastic day. Bye.